back as we bring you Great Day Connecticut from the TPC River Highlands for Travelers Championship Week. We're excited to be out here for golf and I, everything. I, I feel like I'm in college. I feel like, like I'm doing a live shot from college. Like I remember doing this like at the 24-hour dance-a-thon at Syracuse. And I'm like, this is the same feeling I'm getting. Like the 24-hour dance-a-thon with the quiet golf behind Exactly, you. with the quiet okay. golf. Anyway, Dr. Laura Saunders is here. We're talking about making healthy choices. Yes, we need balance for our teens and our kids this summer. they got to have fun, but they also have to be safe. And we know the summertime is when, you know, sometimes they're have some choices to make when yes, they're out with choices. friends. So Dr. Laura Saunders is here to help us find the right balance. Welcome. Happy TPC Wednesday. Yes, All right, happy Wednesday. We I can't believe it's Wednesday so this, already. Happy hump day. Happy, happy Wednesday. Um, so this is a good time to do some reset with, in your relationship with your teens. Um, it's a time to like get to know some of their friends or maybe get to know some of their friends' parents so that you're aware of what your teen is doing. <clears throat> There's been many an occasion I've reached out to, a, to another set of parents to just verify a piece of information. It's always a good idea to do that. Good supervision is invaluable. Um, it's an opportunity to find time to talk with your teen about your values, what's important to you, um, your values around education, your values around drinking and drug use, tobacco use, driving, sex, all sorts of things. Um, really praising your teen for healthy decisions around tobacco use, alcohol, sex, whatever it might be. And very importantly, store prescription medications in a locked cabinet. It's called reducing access to lethal means. Now, I, that's the one thing I looked at and I was kind of surprised by that because, that, and forgive me, does it not create a distrust? Like if your kids see you locking up the medicine cabinet, don't they become like, what are you doing? Like, why would I ever think about doing that? I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. In the same way that you would lock up, you know, a lot of parents lock up a liquor cabinet so you're just reducing access to something that they shouldn't have free access to. Um, and what you don't want, I mean, what we're talking about here are prescription meds, but oftentimes um, it's recommended that you're locking up all medication because it just is about safety. And so you just don't want teens who are a little bit on the impulsive side on a good day to just have a bad day and go after something or feel tempted in some way. Um, so that's where you know you yeah, need to be available yeah, to your team to help them make healthy decisions, to, to notice their behavior. So if you're concerned that they're sad or depressed or seem anxious or ir more irritable than usual, you know, talk to them or, you know, have a discussion with your pediatrician. And really the most important thing that you can do for your team is to be the best role model that you can. Yeah, yeah, that's so important. Yeah, because they're going to be looking, I guess, for our examples, always, you know, do what we do, not necessarily what we say. But, you know, as they get older, we're confronted with finding out stuff that, you know, maybe we don't want to find out, like, oh, my gosh, there was drinking at that party or this friend's doing that. What's the best way to handle it to keep that information flowing so that they feel like they can come to you, but that you're not condoning these things? Right. So it. It's best not to come in um, sort of in a in a direct accusatory tone like I heard there was drinking at this party. What did you do? Right. Because you're just going to your team will just shut down and tell you nothing. So to take a more open ended like I wonder how some of these summer gatherings are going. You know, I know you're going to like, uh, you know, sometimes kids have fires, you know, fire. Are there kids that are smoking and drinking there? Right. So you're asking more open ended questions even though you sometimes already know the answer. That's a great parent trick. You're asking a question and you already know the answer. I think that's, actually, that's what lawyers say. Don't ask a question that you don't already yeah. know the All answer right. to. Um, so, so ask open-ended questions, get information. I like to ask information about the friends because you'll get better information than from your teen themselves. I gotta get me some kids so I can start practicing all these things. <laughs> uh, Karen and I have some we can share. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Laura. We appreciate it. We hope you have a great, safe, and healthy Wednesday. Have a great day. Hope the sun comes out. Yeah, me too. I know. Thanks, Dr. It, Laura. It is in my forecast.